So here's the thing, your marriage isn't a test. You're already together. You can give him the answers on how to love you. In this video, I'm gonna give you five simple questions that you can ask your husband to easily communicate what you need to feel loved instead of making him guess. Hello lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy Becker. I'm a relationship coach for married women and I help you to prioritize your marriage and build deep, long-lasting intimacy and connection with your husband. If you need more support with this, you can either join my Married AF membership or email me about working together one-on-one. -on -one. So like I said, your marriage is not a test for how much your husband loves you. A successful marriage boils down to pretty much one thing. Two people who are willing and excited to meet each other's needs for love again and again and again. It's reciprocal effort every day, over and over. And once you're married, you shouldn't be testing whether they love you or not. You're not setting quizzes for them. <laughs> You're telling them the answers. And all of that starts by being clear about what you need so you can tell them. You wouldn't try and teach a history syllabus without learning it first yourself. So step one, knowing what you yourself need, i.e. self-awareness. Step two is to take that and tell your partner what it is that you need. And the third step is that your partner has the opportunity then to step up and meet those needs in exactly the way that you need them to. Carl and I use the five conversation starters that I'm going to share pretty much every day to make sure that we both get what we need to feel loved, seen, and supported in our marriage. Question number one is what do you have capacity for today? I saw a post that said that marriage is not 50-50. Some days one person has to give 90% because the other person can only give 10%. So this conversation starter acknowledges that your partner might be more stressed or tired than usual or need their own needs met to. It means that you can ask for their help or to be loved in a certain way that acknowledges that you want or need something but without overloading them. So that follows on to question number two which is what do you need from me today? And I love this communication prompt because it goes both ways. Like if I ask it, it is really natural for Carl to ask it back. By opening a conversation in this way, you have the opportunity to meet some of their needs in return. So you both get to deposit things in their love bank. This is the step three that I mentioned earlier where you're opening that opportunity. The conversation prompt number three is I need more of X from you at the moment. I can't stress this enough. Don't make your partner guess. Tell them what you need. Really specifically, it is the easiest way to feel loved and supported by your partner. There is absolutely no pride waiting around to feel loved and supported, especially if your partner is willing, able, and excited to make you feel loved and supported. I have no nicer way of saying this that you don't need to be a martyr, especially in your marriage, the relationship that you're going to be in for a really long time. The fastest way to build resentment in your marriage is to make him guess and then get mad that he doesn't. Communication gets to be simple. So examples of my own marriage of saying, I need more of X specifically from you at the moment. I need more feelings of financial stability in our savings account at the moment. I need more fun together at the moment. I need more date ideas from you at the moment. I need more tech-free time with you at the moment. I need more conversations about our future together at the moment. It's not unromantic to say it in such clear terms. In fact, it is sexy as hell when I tell him and then he does it. I've ranted about this on another video where a guy replied to one of my reels saying it's better to just say, oh, I love it when you do this. I, oh, I love it when you do the dishes. I love it when you come up with date ideas. And then wait for him to realize it's what you want more of. I'm not saying that your partner is thick and that you have to spell things out. I'm saying that you're both adults and you can use your words to say what you want. Okay, still with me? Fantastic. Remember that if you have any thoughts or questions in response to this video, you can drop them in the comments below. Other people might be thinking it too. So the next conversation prompt is, I am struggling with X and I would love to work on it together. It's a bit of a cliche, but men in general really do love problem solving. 
So during that first step of self-awareness, ask yourself things like, what can your husband help you with? What's draining your energy at the moment? Is there anything that you're struggling with that would make it less likely for you to be present in the relationship? When you think about it in these terms, him meeting your needs isn't selfish. It's actually contributing to the healthy functioning of the relationship together. It means that you're gonna have more energy for each other. This conversation prompt is also a really good way of opening up conversations without him feeling attacked. So just using my favorite example of doing the dishes, instead of saying, you never do the dishes, try saying something along the lines of, I am really struggling with how how cluttered the kitchen seems to be at the moment and I would love to come up with a better more efficient system of keeping it clean together so the last one again really simple clear communication I need X to feel loved today and it's simple because who doesn't want the opportunity to make their partner feel loved and if they don't then I'm not sure what we're doing here like I keep saying give him the keys to the castle give him the answers to the quiz you will both be infinitely happier if you're not waiting around for him to figure it out especially when what you need can change just about daily ask me how i know <laughs> so if you feel like you could use some more personalized support around communication and prioritizing your marriage you can email me directly or dm me on instagram about working together one-on-one all the links about how to work with me are in the description box below Thank you so much for watching you guys know that i am obsessed with carrying on this conversation about communication and marriage and connection and we can continue this conversation in the comments if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and then come and say hi on instagram for more content on how to prioritize your marriage and i'll see you in the next video